the kingdom of Mertana, united by King Robar II. During the long years of his reign, he was able to defeat all foes of his realm. All except one. the orcs took its toll, and the prisoners of the realm were to pay the price. The king needed swords for his army, and every man guilty of a crime, no matter how insignificant, was forced to work in the ore mines of Corinus. To make it impossible for them to escape, the king sent out the best magicians of the kingdom to create a magic barrier around the entire valley. I was one of them. Uh, something disturbed the delicate structure of magic. We were trapped inside our own barrier. One second of negligence was enough for the prisoners. Corinus was now under the control of the convicts. The king had no choice. He had to negotiate. He needed the ore. Month after month, the king supplied everything the prisoners needed. Month after month, they brought the ore to the edge of the barrier in exchange. Until the present day, another convict was brought to the cliff. He did not know, but he would change everything. In the name of King Robar II, bearer of the scepter of Verant, I sentence this convict to... Stop! Convict, I've got an offer to make you. This letter must reach the leader of the Magicians of Fire. You're wasting your time. You may choose your own reward. They'll give you anything you ask for. Very well. I'll take your letter. On one condition. Spare me the rest of his nonsense. How dare you? Keep silent. Right. Send him in. Welcome to the colony. That's enough. Leave him alone. And now, scram. Get up. I'm Diego. I'm... I'm not interested in who you are. You've just arrived. I look after the new arrivals. That's all for now. If you plan to stay alive for a while, you should talk to me. But of course, I won't keep you from choosing your own destruction. Well, what do you think? Okay, what do I need to know about this place? We call it the Colony. You'll know already that we produce ore for the King. Well, at least we do, in the old camp. There are three camps within the barrier. The old camp is the biggest, and it was the first. How do I get to the old camp? You just follow this path. The old camp is the next reasonably safe-looking place you'll come across. There are a lot of wild beasts between the camps. You'd be mad to walk around without a weapon. Where do I get a weapon? When you get to the old mine, have a look around. I'm sure you'll find something useful. The mine is easy to find. It's just a few meters along the canyon. Why did you help me? Because you needed help. Otherwise, Bullet and his boys might have killed you. And I couldn't just stand by and watch. Because I came all this way to make a suggestion. A suggestion? Yes. After this little incident with Bullet and his guys, you should be aware now that you need protection. Everyone who arrives here has a choice. There are three camps in the colony, and you'll have to join one of them. I'm here to show the new ones that the old camp is the best place for them. Where's Bullet now? 
He and the others bring the goods from the outside world into the camp. You'll find him there, but if you plan to fight him, be careful. He's an experienced warrior. I have a letter for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. Really? I was given it by a mage shortly before they threw me in here. You're lucky I can't afford to show my face around the mages anymore. Anyone else would gladly slit your throat for that letter. That's because the mages pay their couriers a lot, and most people here don't have anything. If I were you, I'd shut up until I met one of the mages. Although in your situation, that's not likely to happen. Why not? The mages are in the castle in the old camp. Only Gomez's people are allowed to enter the castle. Who's Gomez? Gomez is the most powerful ore baron. He's the boss of the old camp, the most powerful man in the colony. Let's assume I want to join his people. What do I need to do? At the gate of the castle, you'll find a man called Thoris. Tell him Diego sent you. Thanks for your help. We'll meet in the old camp. What are you doing here? Making sure no one gets near the exchange place. Especially one of those cutthroats from the new camp. You're the new guy they chucked in today, right? That's me. Then you'd better watch out for the guys from the new camp. I work for the old camp. Same as the others you saw at the exchange place. I assume you've talked to Diego. Yes, I have. Good. Then you know what's what around here. Why do I have to watch out for the guys from the new camp? Compared to the new camp, the old camp's a quiet, peaceful sort of place. The new camp doesn't get any deliveries from the outside world. Most of the rogues there just steal whatever they need. And the old camp? The ore barons have everything under control. Next in line to them are the guards, followed by the shadows. The diggers are the lowest. Everyone who arrives here starts out as a digger. If you want to become something better than that, you'll have to get accepted as a shadow first. When I was washed ashore, one of the guys punched me in the face. They do that to all the newcomers. They call it Standing Godfather. Oh, are all the guys like that in the old camp? We do have a few suckers, but they won't touch you as long as you pay them protection money. I saw a woman being sent down with the goods. Yeah, the ore barons get everything they want. Do you mean to say the king exchanges women for ore? They're convicted criminals too, of course. But if Gomez hadn't asked for them, they'd be sitting in some dungeon or other. I'm not sure what's worse. I'm looking for a weapon. There should be some old weapons by the derelict mine further down the canyon. But don't go and start a war with nothing but a rusty pickaxe for a weapon. Those things are slow and heavy. An inexperienced fighter should never use one of them, unless it's an emergency. You'd better make sure you reach the old camp in one piece.
Ты... Hey you, what do you want? I want to warn you, if you continue this way, you'll be entering our hunting ground. What do you hunt? Mostly scavengers. There's a lot of meat on them. Besides, it ain't too hard to get them, once you know how. Really? How's that? Ask my friend Drax here. He knows more about these things than anyone. Why is this area so dangerous? You've just arrived, haven't you? There are different areas in this colony which are all more or less dangerous. The paths between the camps are quite safe, but even there you might come across some wolves which look on you as uh, easy prey. And that's exactly what you are until you get a proper weapon and armor. Where can I get better equipment? The nearest place is that old camp. Just follow the path that brought you here. But you can get the stuff cheaper in our new camp, provided you know the right people. If you go to the old camp, ask for more drag. He's one of us. For just a little ore, he'll sell you the proper goods. Tell me more about the areas of the colony. If you travel between the camps, you'll need a map to distinguish paths and dead ends. Dead ends often lead you to dangerous canyons, where you encounter creatures you'd better avoid. Do not enter the old ruins. There are too many around here, and most of them are old fortifications dating back to the time of the first orc war. Some are abandoned orc dwellings. There are often orcs in those ruins, or even worse creatures. I'd avoid those places, especially at night. And one more hint, don't go into the forest. Where do I get a map? Ask the people in the old camp. There's a cartographer living there. Maybe you can steal one of his maps. If you manage to do it, take one from me as well. If I manage to get them without paying, I'll take as many as I can carry. You're all right. You should consider coming to the new camp. In case you go there, ask for Lars. He takes care of the new ones. I'm sure he'll have a job for you. Thanks for your help. Don't go thinking everyone's gonna be so friendly, kid. There may not be much in a newcomer's pockets, but some folks would even beat you up for a pickaxe. I'll keep it in mind. You're hunting, aren't you? Looks like it. What do you want? Do you have some hints for the hunt? I could teach you a few things, but everything has its price. Which would be how much? A good gulp of beer will do, to start with. Then we'll see. Here you are. Take a beer and tell me about hunting. Scavengers. That's what we call the big birds. Should be attacked one after the other. It's easy to lure single scavengers from the pack. If you come too close, they'll become irritated. After a while, they'll storm in your direction. At this point, you should be waiting for them with a raised weapon. If you manage to strike the beast before it hits you, you have to keep fighting. Then you'll be able to defeat the creature without being hurt yourself. If it hits you first, well, just don't let him. What else can you tell me about hunting? A lot, but it'll cost you more than a beer. If you know how, you can take the creature's teeth claws, and skin. It's hard to get them, but they are valuable. At least every merchant will trade those things with you. You're demanding a lot for your advice. Possibly, 
but you can earn a lot of ore with this knowledge. All the animals you kill without knowing how to cut them up will just rot away. That's a wasted opportunity of skinning them and selling the fur at a high price. If I were you, I'd try to gain this knowledge as soon as possible. What are you doing here? What's it look like? Regarding the bridge, of course. We make sure that no beasts cross the bridge. Have you got any advice for me? Yeah, don't go in the forest on your own. Unless you're strong enough to fight off all the beasts. Make sure you get to the old camp. They're holding a pickaxe for you. <laughs> Hi, I'm new here. How nice for you. Is that the old camp over there? No, that's the new camp. The old camp is underneath the bridge.
You better not stay here. The orc land starts behind that barricade. Is it dangerous? Let me put it like this. You may as well give me all your ore before you go out there and let the orcs rip you to ribbons. I think it might be best if I just turn back. Pity. I'd have loved to take care of your ore. What are you doing here? Don't often get visitors up here. <laughs> Very clever of you to find my hiding place. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm fed up with the old camp. I had trouble with Gomez's folks. That was some time ago. I guess nobody remembers that now. But I'm staying here. There's too many blockheads running about in the old camp for my liking. Thank you. 
Hi, where are you off to? We take the Minecrawler secretion from our brothers in the old mine to Kor Kalam. We go to the old mine every day to collect it. What kind of secretion is it? We obtain it from the mandibles of the mine crawlers. If you know how to do it, you can take them out without losing the secretion. Can you tell me how to get the secretion of a mine crawler? Of course. After you've killed the beast, you get hold of the mandibles and pull them straight out. This way, you'll get the secretion gland without destroying it. What does Korkalam need the secretion for? As far as I know, he makes a potion with it which increases the magic powers of a novice. Since we are preparing for the great invocation, he can't get enough of the stuff. With the aid of the potion, he'll prepare the novices for the great day. Have you enough of the potion for the great invocation of the sleeper? No, we still have to collect much more. Our mind crawler hunting units are in action day and night. What are you doing out here? I want to be left in peace, so get lost. Why are you here and not in the camp? I'm waiting for a friend to return from the mine. He owes me some ore. I can't turn up in the camp without the ore. I couldn't pay the protection money for the guards and then things would get real heavy for me. Where do you think you're going? To the camp. You ain't come to make trouble, have you? Diego says I'm to meet him in the camp. Okay, in you go then.
Any news? Nah, everything's the same as ever. Tell me something about the old camp. It's the biggest and most powerful of the three camps. Gomez and his guys control the camp and thereby the whole ore trade. Once a month, the king sends us everything we need. We've got the old guy in our grip, you understand? He sends us wine, bread, meat, weapons, everything. You can also get some of it. All you have to do is join Gomez's people. What about the two other camps? The two other camps split up to pursue their crazy escape plans. There's the new camp in the west of the colony, where the mages think they can just detonate the barrier as soon as they've scraped enough ore together. And then there's the sect loonies in the east. Their camp is in the middle of the swamp, and they're praying to their idol to set them free. He hasn't responded so far. If I were you, I wouldn't waste my time on those madcaps. Tell me more about the barrier. There isn't much to tell. It's impenetrable. What happens if I just walk out of here? The last one who tried that reached the other side a dead man. This damn barrier lets you in, but you'll never get out of here. If there's a way out, I'll find it. You're already in a rush to get out of here? But you've only just arrived. Take care. You don't look as though you'd just let anyone get into the castle. Only Gomez's men are allowed in the castle. If I gave you a certain amount of ore, would you let me in the castle? For a certain amount. How much? Well, it'd have to take a while to count the ore. Long enough to make sure me and my boys are busy counting while you slip by. So tell me, how much? One thousand nuggets should be enough. A thousand nuggets? Well, you could join up with Gomez. That'd get you in the castle for free. I want to work for Gomez. Oh yeah? And what makes you think Gomez will be interested in having you work for him? Diego says you decide who Gomez is interested in. Huh? If Diego thinks you're okay, why doesn't he take care of you? Look, let me explain. Diego's gonna test you. If he thinks you're good enough, I'll let you into the castle to see Gomez. Whatever happens after that is up to you, okay? I'll talk to Diego. Why don't you give me the test? It ain't that easy, kid. Any newcomer who wants to get anywhere needs a patron. That patron has to be one of Gomez's people. He'll test you. And if you fail, you're his responsibility. That's the law around here. There must be something you want done. No. The things we guards deal with are a bit above you, kid. You just stick to the tasks your patron sets for you. I'm quite capable of doing anything you tell me to. Oh, so you're intent on failing, eh? There is one thing that only someone who's not with Gomez can see to. But I'm warning you, you blow this and you'll be in mighty big trouble. I'm ready for your task. What I'm about to tell you is between you and me, and nobody else must ever hear about it. Understood? Sure. We have a problem with a guy from the new camp. His name's Mordrag. He's been stealing from the ore barons. Of course, that applies to a lot of the rogues in the new camp. But this guy has the nerve to come to our camp and sell our stolen goods to our boys. He's gone too far. But he knows I can't do anything about it. Why? Because he's under the protection of the mages. Sounds to me like the mages are your problem. Yeah, but they're a problem that's hard to solve. A few years back, one of the shadows tried to stab the High Magician of the Circle of Fire while he was sleeping. They found him later in the Outer Ring. In fact, he was scattered all over the Outer Ring. Why do the mages protect that Mordrag? Because they use him as a gopher. Our local mages are in contact with the mages over in the new camp. 
they often send gophers back and forth. They're likely to become very unpleasant if I throw one of their gophers out of the camp or have him killed. What about me? What do you think the mages will do to me? You're new here. You'll be okay. But I'm responsible for what my boys do. That's why it's vital that you keep your mouth shut. Where can I find Mordred? You'll find him at the south gate on the other side of the castle, just beyond the entrance. The bastard wouldn't dare come any further into the camp. Do you want me to kill the guy? I want you to make sure I never see his face around here again. I don't care how you do it. I'll take care of it. I've talked to Thoris. And what did he say? He says that I can join the old camp if you think that I'm good enough. Looks like I have myself a new job. Do we start right now? First, there are a few things you should know. What do I have to know to be accepted in the old camp? If you want to join the camp, you'll have to earn some brownie points. There are a few influential people in the outer ring. Most of them are shadows. If you manage to impress them, it'll earn you a few brownie points. Then you'll have to stand the test of faith. Besides, there are a lot of skills every new arrival has to learn. The more you learn, the more valuable you'll be for us. Where do I find the important people? Well, you're looking at one of them. Then there's Thoris, you already know him. As for the others, you'll have to find that out by yourself. If you don't manage to do that, you don't belong here anyway. Just go through the outer ring and talk to people. Then you'll find out who's important. Who can teach me? Start with Fingers. He's the most skillful among us. If you keep your eyes peeled, you'll find other people who can teach you. Where can I find Fingers? His hut's kind of hidden. It's next to the castle wall. Just start out here and go towards the arena. When you're at the castle gate, go down to the left and you'll be heading for the arena. What's the test of faith? You have to go to the old mine. There you'll meet a guy called Ian. He'll give you a list. This list is important. It contains all the items the guys in the mine need from us. They'll get the stuff with the next convoy. No problem. Yes, there is a problem. The new camp must not get that list. Like I said, the list is important. If you do it right, you'll get much further. If the list is so important, why should Ian give it to me? Because you're going to tell him Diego sent you. I'll tell him. Where can I find the old mine? Go to Graham. He's a cartographer. Tell him that I sent you and that you need a map. It'll show you the way to the mine. He lives to the left of the north gate. Can you teach me something? Yes. I can teach you to improve your dexterity or your strength. Come back soon. There are many things you need to learn. Take care. I am new here. Just arrived, have you? I'm Grim. I haven't been here for long either. I was thrown in with the load before you. What's life like here? Easy going. As long as you pay your share of protection money to the guards. What do I have to do if I want to get admitted to this camp? Well, first of all, you have to become a shadow. Therefore, you have to find somebody who supports you, somebody who explains everything to you and takes responsibility for you. If I was you, I'd try to keep close to Diego. I did it like that. He's quite all right. He'll make you take the test of faith. That's different from everybody. Then there'll be some other smaller tasks from other shadows. If you manage them, You'll be with us. And how far have you got with your tests? I've already talked to Dexter and Sly and Fingers. They are some of the most influential shadows here in the camp. What was your test of faith? I can't tell you, man. You have to be silent about things like that here. How are you doing? 
Well, since I stopped working in the mine, I can't really complain. And where do you get your ore from? I help people who have problems. If you get into trouble with influential people here, I can help you sort the thing out. If I was in trouble, you could help me? How? Well, let's assume you're in trouble with Thoris. You better never get into trouble with him, but then, well, you never know. Thoris can be quite stubborn. When he's pissed off with you once, he'll never talk to you again. And that's a bad thing. As a greenhorn, you depend on him. So you come to see me. I know a lot of people here Thoris listens to. They put in a good word for you, and Thoris is your friend again. Of course, the boys want to see some ore for these kind of favors. Your ore. And I take care that your ore gets to the right people. Could you tell me which of the shadows belongs to the influential people here? You want to impress the right people, do you? Diego has the most power of all the shadows. He trusts Fingers, Whistler, and Sly. Dexter and Fisk sell their stuff on the market square. They have many customers, even the guards, and that makes them rather influential. And then there's Scatty. He's in charge of the arena and determines who fights and all that. Many people here owe him ore. He's important as well. Hey, you! Hey, you! Hi, I'm new here. What do you want from me? I want to become one of you. I want to join the camp. Looking for people to support you, eh? If you want me to have a word with Diego about you, you need to do me a favor. What kind of favor do you want? I want one of Fisk's weapons. He's one of the traders at the marketplace. You won't sell it to me. It's a broadsword with ornaments. I'll give you 100 ore to collect the weapon for me, but don't tell him about me. Why won't he sell the weapon to you anymore? We had a little argument. <laughs> and? And that's all you need to know. Did you ever consider that I might just run off with the ore? Don't forget, the colony is small. If you run off with my ore, I'll find you. Okay, give me the hundred ore nuggets. I'll get the thing. Here you go. Come straight back to me. Hey man, I'm Fisk. I trade goods of all kinds. If you ever need anything, you're in the right place here. I'd like to buy a sword, but not just a simple one. I'd like something more ornamental. I have one you'll like. The shadow who wanted to collect it won't be coming anymore. That'll be 110 ore. Interested? Maybe later. It was obvious that 
Show me your goods. Fisk wants 110 ore for his sword now. And you want me to give you the 10 ore now? I thought you wanted to have that sword. Here, take it, and now hurry. I'd like to buy a sword, but not just a simple one. I'd like something more ornamental. I have one you'll like. The shadow who wanted to collect it won't be coming anymore. That'll be 110 ore. Interested? Yes, I'll take it. You got a good deal here. I have your sword. Wasn't too hard, was it? Whatever. You do me a favor, and I'll do you one. If Diego should ask after you, I'll speak in your favor. Until then, have a good time. The sleeper be with you, stranger. I'm here to guide you onto the right path. And which is the right path? The path of the sleeper. He alone has the power to set us free. The gurus are preparing a great invocation in our camp. They want to get in contact with the sleeper. So far, he's just talked to us in visions. But now, it's time to get in touch with him. We'll need as many supporters as possible for that. By focusing our spiritual power, we'll get through to him. Our camp is some distance away, in the swamp. I can take you there, though, if you want. What would be the benefit of joining you? Maybe you're one of the chosen people who received the gift of magic from the sleeper. Or you might obtain the highest honors and become a Templar. Only the best fighters among us can obtain that position. If the sleeper is with you, you can even combine both. The best of the Templars receive the gift of magic as well. You see, our Brotherhood has a lot of possibilities for you. You should be aware of that before you decide on joining any other camp. Who's the sleeper? The sleeper speaks to us through dreams and visions. He has been leading us ever since he first made contact with Iberian five years ago. All the followers of the Brotherhood have renounced the three gods. We pray only to the Sleeper for salvation. Salvation from what? From this goddamn place, of course. The Sleeper will show us the way to freedom. What did the Sleeper tell you? He guided us to the swamp, to the old temple ruins. That's where we built our camp. He gave us independence. None of us need to labor in the mines. He showed us what swamp weed can do. We sell it to the other camps, and in exchange, we get everything we need. And he gave some of us the gift of magic, of an old and powerful magic, which is different from the one the magicians of the realm use. Tell me about the magic of the sleeper. This gift enables you to control things with the power of your mind. Only the gurus of our brotherhood have been initiated into the secrets of this magic. Hey, you! I trade in swamp weed and potions from the sect camp. Do you want something? What is swamp weed? 
New here, are you? You can smoke it. Very relaxing for most of us. I want to join the camp. I want to become a shadow. Oh, you're looking for a chance to prove your worth? Good. You can do me a favor. If you do it well, I'll speak up for you in front of Diego. What is it? In the sect camp, there's a man called Kalam. Quite a big shot. One of the gurus of the sect. Kalam is an alchemist. He has the recipe for an effective healing potion. I'd like to buy the recipe off him. Then, I can produce it myself. But nobody can get near Cologne. And what do you expect me to do? The sect loonies are looking for new people all the time. You're new here. Just pretend you want to be recruited. Cologne is one of the gurus. That means he checks the new candidates. If you get in touch with him, try to get the recipe. Whether you want to pay for it or you don't, I don't care. That story after all. Sounds like a difficult business. How much is in it for me? At some point, Diego will ask me if you're suitable for us. Just guess what my answer will depend on. Maybe I'll have to pay for the recipe. Give me 50 ores in advance payment. Forget it. No ore, no recipe. Well then. We can talk about the ore as soon as you have the recipe. There must be something about that story. No, I want to see ore right now or you can get your recipe yourself. There's enough other newcomers. I think I should give the job to one of them. Okay, let's just forget about the whole thing. Not so fast. I just wanted to know how far you'd go. 50 ore is quite a lot for a newcomer, don't you think? That sounds better. Okay, okay, I've just got 50 or nuggets spare here. Don't let me down, kid. Where is the sect camp? Leave the camp through the south exit, then head eastwards. You'd better take a map. I got one here for 50 or. The south exit is the collapsed tower, isn't it? Exactly. It was obvious that there would be trouble ahead. Show me your goods. I got the best stuff here. Always talk. Let's talk about something else instead. I thought that happened all the same old story every time. 